All right, last sample problem. So what makes 42 uh, a good sample problem is because it's demonstrating conservation of momentum, but also that since momentum is a vector, we need to separate the x direction momentums from the y direction momentums. So you'll get to see that in action as well. So we start off with a, a four kilogram block. And it's going to explode into two pieces. So this is the initial situation. And it has some velocity, which I don't necessarily know the direction yet, so I'm not going to draw a velocity vector. But later on, it splits up into two pieces. It splits up into a two kilogram mass that is going three meters per second north, so that's straight up. And another two kilogram mass that's going five meters per second, 30 degrees north of east. So north of east is up from east. So 30 degrees, uh, whatever and five meters per second. Yeah, I better erase it. That's horrible. All right. 30 degrees, three, zero. There we go, a little better. And so, yeah, so we know due to the conservation momentum that initial momentum equals final momentum as long as no new momentum entered the system or none left the system then the total momentum stays the same so let's do x and y so pix equals pfx what's going on in the x direction well initially we have the whole block together so the mass is for for. Well, let's just draw it out. Uh, mass initial times velocity initial in the x direction. And there was only one mass, so we're just going to have one term. That's going to equal mass 1 final velocity 1 final x. <laughs> A lot of subscripts. Plus mass 2 final, velocity 2 final in the x direction. Yeah, so let's plug these in. So the initial mass is 4 before it's split up. We're looking for the initial x velocity, so that's unknown. And then the two mass, it splits in half, so it's 2 and 2. So this mass is 2, and this mass is 2. The we'll, we'll say this is mass one here. So the x direction velocity of this mass is zero because it's only going north. So that's zero. And here the x direction velocity is five cosine thirty. And this turns out to be uh, solving for vix. Don't forget to divide by 4 once you're done here. You get 2.17 meters per second. Now let's do the y direction. PIY equals momentum FY. Uh, M initial V initial in the y direction equals m1 final v1 final in the y direction plus m2 final v2 final in the y direction. So the initial mass is 4 again. The initial y velocity is unknown. It splits up into 2. In this case, the y velocity is all of the, the velocity here, 
the whole 3, no component of it, so times 3, plus this mass is 2 also, and this is 5 sine 30, because it's the y component right here, sine. And so solving for viy, you get 2.75 meters per second. Now what's the actual uh, original velocity? Velocity initial is the square root of, whoa, <laughs> anyway, velocity initial x uh, squared plus velocity initial y squared. So that's the square root of 2.17 squared plus 2.75 squared, which equals 3.5 meters per second. Notice we didn't find the direction. That's a whole different story. All right, that's it for the sample problems. Not too long, not too many this time. It should be enough to help you through all the problems in the homework. If not, let me know. Bye-bye.